when these are the messages, either internally or externally, what happens at the individual level? The result of that, if we're saying this to ourselves or if our leaders are saying this to themselves, well, we don't express ourselves. There can become bitterness, isolation, shut down. We don't ask for or receive help. We may not speak our great ideas and that can become burnout or anxiety or depression. And if all the individuals in an organization are walking around doing that to themselves, well, what happens at the team level? Guess what? Stagnation. There's not innovation if people aren't sharing their ideas. If they're too scared to take a risk, good ideas don't get shared or bad ideas don't get spoken out against. It can become discomfort, disconnection, cynicism. Ultimately, our teams get stuck in fight, flight, or fix mode, living from fear rather than from motivation. There can be high turnover and burnout. Okay. And if this is what's happening in so many organizations across our culture, what happens at the societal and cultural level? Well, it becomes trauma, reinforced trauma instead of healing, diminished authenticity and trust, kind of the us, them mentalities get reinforced. And the status quo stays because people aren't willing to kind of take those risks if they're thinking their ideas aren't good enough or they're holding back.